So this is this is a video for new players about getting past blocked block ports. Basically, there's no port showing. So you get this job, and you'd go for an end map, and wham, scan finished, no open ports. But that's fine. You did some research on GitHub, and you downloaded an advanced end 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 map called Probe. Uh, and that requires, no, that doesn't require. And holy balls, still no ports open. I was, when I first started this game, I was completely confused. I didn't understand, well, I'm trying to get into a, a router, so I have to hack the router. So, at this point, you're like, oh, okay, well, I'll just go to the hack shop, and I'll find something that will get me access. So you open up the browser and you head over to the hack shop. This is the beginning of the game, so it's going to be version in single player. It's going to be version 1.0, and you go down to kernel router. Holy crap! This is super rare. This right here. No dependencies to get a, sh a guest shell on. A router get the source buy it hell get the source and buy it because you're gonna custom script using this so you go ahead you get uh, your your script all ready and yeah uh, you try not to do the address twice and you decide you don't want to do probe again. God, I need a beer. Boom. You're in the router. Obviously, I've already been in this router. And you look back at your mission, and you're like, I need LAN 192.168.243. Where the hell am I? You're right here. This is your engine. This, this is where you came from. You're right here. You got to get here. So, once you're here, what are you going to do? Well, I've already uploaded stuff to this, so let's see. Um, we're, we're just going to end map it. All right, it has port 3036 open. So let's go back to the shop and look for a SQL. 3036, 3037, those are SQLs. Uh, live SQL. Get remote access. Any user. That's probably not going to happen. Remote access. Hey, here's one we can use to get into that computer. So we're going to spend another $165 and yen and yen and yen now why do that instead when you can get a when you can i've got i'm going to put the links at in the description of this video just make a custom tool so what the hell to this is our remote IP and we want uh, port 0 that specifies router it's going to take a little bit longer though and there's a reason for this the reason is uh, what you bought if you were 100% just lucky enough to get this uh, script off the uh, hack shop you got a single use error. Uh, this is the memory code and the error that it, it this is what it, it took advantage of to get across, uh, to get the hack. And that happens to be right here. Um, and then it used stance and I guess overflowed the buffer using a string copy and stance. And that's how this single hack 
got into got you into the router the problem is here's here's another this might have worked too it didn't privileges obtained from root yeah I don't know I'm gonna have to look at the script on this one why didn't we get root I don't know we were in here as guests and it doesn't matter so with the if you're buying scripts you have to go and um, buy another another script to get here your target now I prefer actually being on the target uh, I don't know why in fact in my case I would be buying uh, a script I wonder if there is one that's uh, SQL right what am, I, what am I what are we trying to do we need login credentials from so take advantage new password grant access oh my god see this is what we need we need the password file so that we can get the get we can do the client but all these dependencies um, bank mail password password shit more dependencies right here we just got lucky again bam this is we're gonna spend another sixty five dollars this will get us in and we'll be able to um, get this guy's login credentials but with a uh, a custom tool we can just go straight to the machine and if we're lucky get root access I, I don't think that's gonna happen but actually no we're going yeah we're going in SQL which is 3306 so it's going we're going into this port right here and this is going to take a long time because it's doing the comp the processing on this router so we'll be back when this gets up there now if we actually had route uh, almost there if we had ro uh, root access on this router we could go into the library and download the SO file and run to our end and run uh, ScanLive on it to find all of these uh, all of these things uh, on our own and we can actually like modify that script but anyways and now we're here so we got into the router with one tool and we're now in here with the same exact same tool now let's see if we're getting lucky or not nope we have to elevate our access I don't currently have a way to elevate my access but using one custom tool which didn't cost me anything except for the initial script that I can use over and over again for this simple stuff now is the time I actually have to go to the shop and find some way to elevate access to be able to finish this and I'm thinking uh, kernel module maybe shells probably not gonna well it's a non now that requires root user any user technically I'm not a user I'm a guest user bank root user
How about a knit? And this one. File, it's a bestiality. Permissions. Let's let's uh, let's download bestiality. We're going to. Well, I guess we'll just save it in home here. I don't know how this is going to work, honestly. I'm doing this off the cuff. Crap, I didn't see if that was local. Well. Can't find Metasploit. What's the shop say about this? Local. Okay, good. Because we're here. <laughs> uh, you need Metasploit and Crypto. So I have Metasploit for you. Here, Crypto. Here's Crypto. This is going to be a little bit faster because it's using this computer's processing. So yeah, we had to spend a little money, but we spent much less, and it was less of a hassle overall. And so the custom tools that I'm using are free. Um, this what the hell is a, a mashup between two different tools. And I link to where you can get the original scanner. And then I just replaced the guts of it because I like, I like what it does here. I just replaced the guts of it with ScanWeb, which you can build with in, in a video. Just watch the video, program along with the video, and you're good. He's also got if you if you go with the the gray hack guy and go into he's also got a better decipherer than the one that comes here. So the only the only I don't care of, well I do care about root. In fact, let me no yeah because I got to clear my logs and root will give me that. Plus I want to snoop through all all their users. So Eddie is a password for Solega seriously. Eddie, huh? Hey, we completed the job. There's still a CCT, two C, three CCT, three cameras I'm interested in looking through. And I gotta scrape this for funds. So yeah, this is why custom tools are kinda cool. Let's go ahead and log on root now. One of these days I'll learn how to spell and maybe look at the screen as I'm typing, but... Alright, I can't say bestiality or I'll spell this completely wrong. <sighs> T A L I T Y. I hate only. Seriously? Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to say a word. I, I like I'm a Windows guy that's why I like all of this and I don't like all these videos that leave this scan web this scan land out because I'm more visual less text you got nothing interesting and you got nothing interesting all right I was just looking for another link to another place or something um,
and there wasn't. So, anyways, this this was uh, why why basically it's just to say, hey, custom tools a little bit better. Well, in the beginning of the game, than um, store bought tools, and through you'll save frust uh, time and money um, using the custom tools and programming is pretty awesome. I mean, I taught myself to program Turbo Pascal 5.0 back in Win95 days. It's very it, this is this is a mini script is a little bit easier to do, but I'm still scratching my head. So anybody can do it. You just you have to kind of like programming. Hack Shop is there for you, but you're kind of like uh, is this going to work or is it not going to work? Everybody have a great day. This video is long enough.